everybody. Uh, this week's video is going to be a little short. I am simply going to look at the greenhouse a little bit. So recently we've been having some really freezing temperatures and by the time you see this video that was probably about two weeks ago. Uh, we had some really freezing, really cold temperatures that really affected the plants in here in the greenhouse because it did get down to probably about 30 degrees in here as I look at some of the stats from my thermostat. Um, now it's right now if I look at the temperature it's uh, 75 degrees humidity is very low because I haven't been in here for a couple days to fill humidifiers so you know it's been a, it's a little low because all the humidifiers are off normally though I've been able to keep the humidifier the humidity average around 40 to 50 which is decent anyways I'm not too happy with how the plants turned out I didn't really have light in here so I wasn't really I didn't really I only had like one or two unicorns in here but I actually looks more like one and he doesn't look so great He's done for. It was a variegated um, burl marks, but they're not too expensive, so I'll probably end up getting another one. But I, um, I thought it would fare well better than it did. Otherwise, I would have taken it in. But it might have a chance. I don't know. We'll see. It might. We'll see if it bounces back. And then I had this guy. Well, here. You know what? Why don't we just look at the roots? See how they look. That'll tell us gonna take a moment here well the roots they there are alive they look okay as long as the roots look okay and it's damp down there then we might be able to save you because that's one thing though is that even if your plants freeze in a greenhouse or whatever if the roots look okay you might be able to save it now this is like a burl mart i'm not sure it's all pickled up, so i can't tell the difference between them right now see the roots look okay so i might be able to save them might be able to save these two which I hope I can, because I do like that. That's a well fenced sense of area. He doesn't look so great. I took a cutting off of him in case I lost him. Right there. That's some um, Hoya Linearis cuttings. This stuff over here doesn't look too bad. I got this uh, spider plant right here that nothing changed on it. Got this cuttings over here that look okay. This burrow marks, he, she went down a little bit, and I don't know why, but it's the part that was uncovered that's still looking okay. Then I got this like Sansevieria Laurenti deck here. He needs water, but he's okay. He's alive, which is more than I can say for some plants. Like this. Town Coey. He bloomed. I mean, he bloomed really nicely, but he's dead now. I've had him for a long time, but he's done. Then I have this little cut. These are all, all cuttings I took. It's like, like the philodendron lemon lime died. But I still have the Birkin, and I still have, like, the Red Emerald, I think that is. And my unicorn over here is alive. Gloriosum. The leaf already looked like that, so that doesn't concern me. But it's got that new growth point that's alive. I just need to water it because it's dry. This over, this area over here did okay. And then I got this Oxalis, which it's in it's in its dormancy period. So it's, I'm not too worried about it. I wasn't too worried about it. Some of this, like, pro I could have taken everything out and it would have been okay. But some of it didn't look great already. And I didn't want to. But I just wanted to see how it would fare out. And they look okay. They need a little help. They all do. They're not looking the greatest. But I think that most of these can bounce back. Anyways, uh, we'll look at the guy right in front of me here. This Hoya, he was not covered. So that's a wonder he's alive. But he was not covered. He was a big hardy plant, so... so He's doing all right, and then this stuff over here probably got the worst of everything. I don't know. That stupid carry I ever got a... I don't know. This dumb thing doesn't grow. It's probably was one of those ones that was cut stupidly and didn't... Uh, and it's never going to grow. You can see it got a little affected over here, but... I don't know how the dumb thing's still alive. And it's mushy, meaning it's dry, meaning it wants water. You can see how it's kind of wanting water there. I'll have to water everything. Because I didn't water anything, because I didn't want it all to be too cold. Maybe I should have watered it. This is wet. This is a Hoya Compacta. There's another Hoya Compacta back there. This is all I got left of my Compactas. I'm going to have to take them out. And then this is all I got left of my, um, um, Philodendron Micans, maybe? Yeah. I have a cutting one right here that's alive somewhat. So, we'll see. That I might have to get a new one of. All right, down here. Got a lemon lime philodendron that needs a little help. All this stuff right here. The German ivy should bounce back. I'm not too worried about him. The German ivies, they generally will bounce back for me. 
And then this guy is probably done for, though. This is a false African violet, or it was. I, I can get cuttings of those either. And, you know, like, honestly, I know that this wasn't the best idea to try to see if they'd survive. But I wanted to see how well they could do. Or if they could, and if they could do it. Because this is negative, we are having negative 30 temperatures. I had snow on the ground. And it's gone now, which is, thank God. Everything looks like it's okay. And the, this is my first winter with the greenhouse. So I was hoping that things would fare out okay. Which, because normally... I have three heaters in here. That one, that one, and that one. And they all were doing just fine. The plants were doing great, but this freezing, we had this like really, really cold night, and I knew it was going to be cold, but I thought it was like negative 10, not negative 30, which kind of killed everything out a little bit. I toweled it because I still knew it was going to be in the negatives, but I didn't think it was going to be as freezing as it was. Anyways, down here we have the Stromanthi Trio Star, which... I don't know how the hell it's alive. These dumb things. This dumb thing. These two Stimranthes. I gotta tell you. They were doing. They're doing so good compared to everything else in here. Even throughout the summer. I mean like they obviously need water. And they're a little fried. But they're not bad. And I got this Calathea Mekoyana. Which isn't the greatest. But it's not good. And then that like that Lancifolia still hasn't quite bounced back yet. The Beauty Star. He's done for. So we'll have to get a new one of him someday. Uh, which kind of sucks, because I like them. But, you know, like, I had a lot of plants that kind of fried in the summer with the greenhouse. So I kind of started out with a low amount this winter. But, and the grasshopper population didn't help. This is a peperomia of some site. It needs water pretty badly. It's been a little damaged to the cold, but it looks pretty decent. And I like it. He, he's a pretty good plant. I like him. And then I got this philodendron here. Whatever this thing is. I don't remember what this is. Like, hope, maybe? Filling in hope. That's probably what it is. And then I got that, uh... Oh, I, didn't, I forgot to cover him, but he looks just fine. This Pilea Peppermoides looks awesome, actually. That looks good. See, it's a hardy, hardy plant. And then I also forgot to cover the Shepardi I Hoya. And he looks just fine, too. Maybe I had him covered too long, I don't know. And then, like, then these two Tratoscantias. He looked a lot better before. He really did, but... He's okay. He'll, he'll bounce back. I'm pretty sure of that. Try to scan his. They're pretty tough. And then I got this other Nanak that looks pretty good over here. He'll, he'll bounce back too. I'm not too worried about him. But this is all I got in my greenhouse for right now. The summer though, this I'm going to bounce. I'm going to put all kinds of plants in here. I know it. Plants I've never had before. This summer was just kind of my experiment summer, so I didn't get too much. And when I did put my new plants in here, they died because of the heat. So I learned this, that I need to get it because i had this vent open and i had this door open throughout the summer but it wasn't enough to keep them alive so this summer what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try i found something online like a sprinkler system that'll go off every so often and that should keep it cooler in here the goal is kind of to have it from 80 to 95 degrees i don't want it any higher which this summer i was normally averaging probably about 110 which is way too high so hopefully i can control it there and I'm going to get some humidity in here because that is way too freaking low for humidity. Well, thank you for watching. And I don't generally like to kill plants. But it's kind of what I'm looking at in here. Everything looks like I can bounce it back for the most part. There just is some leaf loss and dormancy period if you're talking about oxalis. But it looks decent. It's not horrible. We'll see what I can retrieve out of this mess. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to see what works best in the winter, and I don't know how well the plants are going to be if I don't actually have plants in here. And I know that in the winter, I might have, to, next winter, I'll have to bring in some of my special stuff so I don't fry it to death or kill it due to cold, but, well, this is just kind of my experience with the greenhouse. If you want any more greenhouse videos, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do them. And I can't stop the video.